Hello, so I thought I'd just make a quick video on Elite Dangerous and my current settings that I'm using for playing the game with a Quest 2 in VR. I've sold my Valve Index now, um, as regular viewers of the channel will know, so I've been trying to experiment with the Quest 2 in order to dial in performance as good as possible. And this has come at a time when I'm no longer using uh, Elite Dangerous Horizons 3.8. I've transitioned over to 4.0 because Frontier is sort of forcing people to do that if they still want to play the live game. Any progress you make in 3.8 is no longer carried over. So I thought I'd try and dial in performance. The problem is with this updated game engine, performance is a lot more inconsistent than it was on 3.8. Horizons on 3.8, you could get really good performance. But anyway, let me uh, just talk about a few of my settings, what I'm running. So with the Oculus desktop app, I'm running generally at the default settings i'm running 72 hertz in the quest 2 as you can see from the performance overlay in front of me there and at the moment it's running at a solid uh, 72 frames per second in the oculus desktop app i am using 1.2 super sampling which on my system let me just double check through the headset is 4864 by 2448 that will vary from system to system depending on specs um, but that's just 1.2 just as the oculus desktop app clicks over to 1.2 that's the uh, resolution that it gives me um, and that's generally what, what i use for a lot of stuff anyway but let me go into in-game settings and we'll go through some of these this is just what i've sort of settled on at the moment there's probably still some tweaking that i can do but i started off with a baseline of uh vr low i just took it as vr low because that just seemed to be the only thing i could really choose to get even reasonable performance but then i've got uh texture quality down to medium everything pretty much on low as it defaults then with anti-aliasing i've got smaa in order to utilize this upscaling of amd fsr 1.0 which will give it a performance increase um, to be honest, I mean, the image quality does take a hit. It's not quite sharp, but you sort of have to live with that in order to get that performance increase. Now, I'm using HMD image quality 1.5 at the moment. Now, I assume that works in conjunction with this AMD FSR 1.0, because if I do increase that, it will lower performance. We'll go into reprojection if we go up to 1.75, for example. Um, and at the moment, you can see from the headroom, on the oculus performance overlay on the headroom graph on the right i'm running right on the edge of hitting those native 72 frames per second so these are all my other settings basically it's just vr low um i've lowered pretty much everything down in fact jet cone quality i'll probably lower that down as well but these are just i mean it is low settings but it's just what you really have to do to get any kind of consistent performance on 4.0 there's not a lot else you can do um which is a bit of a shame to be honest but anyway this is it so we're right on the edge of that performance headroom but we are running at native frame rate um at the moment so let's launch see if it drops down which it probably will okay so we'll just go out we're still running those nice 72 frames per second as we go through this is running really well actually better than i expected on this section but we're right on the edge of that headroom and as we go out into space okay, you can see the headroom course. goes up so we've got no problems way. whatsoever here and course, although it's course. not as sharp or as clear as i would like there's no real stutters that i'm getting at the moment which is great and i'd probably take a slightly lower resolution there was a stutter then um but it didn't show it on the performance overlay for some reason. But anyway, might have been a network related one. There's a few little dips and things like that as you go around the space station. And looking at the text in the cockpit, it's not perfectly clear. It's not as clear as it was in the Valve Index. But you do pay a bit of a performance cost by using the Quest 2 and using either Air Link or Wide Link. I'm using Air Link at the moment, but these settings translate exactly the same to Wide Link as well, really. Um, but you, you do pay a performance cost because of the encoding and decoding of the video feed, which is not ideal. 
but it's what we have to deal with. But anyway, let me go into the other training mission now, just to see how it is over planet surfaces, because of course that's another area which is um, demanding in Elite Dangerous. Let's just see how it deals with that. So just flying above a planet surface now in one of the other training missions, and it's still just about maintaining that 72 frames per second. Slightly more headroom than there was in the station, to be honest. But um, the problem is with this 4.0 version of the engine, it just you get this weird anti-aliasing thing, and, and it's not just on the settings that I'm using. You get this really shimmery look to it, and you can see on the planet surface the level of detail. It's not really um, do it. It doesn't look great, honestly, but. I'm wondering if we can just change a few settings now and see what we can get. Uh, let's just go down to the uh, planet quality. Let's go for let's go for high terrain quality. See what we get. Terrain level of detail blending high terrain work. Let's increase that. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. So that's helped. Let's see how it looks. Not a lot different. Not a lot different at all. Um, yeah, I don't like. I mean, Odys uh, um, sorry, Horizons 3.8 just looked so much better on the planet surfaces. This might look great on a monitor, by the way. That's what I, I got a lot of comments of on my last video where I was talking about this. It might look great on a monitor, Odyssey, but in VR, the anti-aliasing and the just the weird shimmery nature of it, and I wasn't even using. Um, these settings last time I tried it, but it just seems to have this weird anti-aliasing issue on uh, 4.0. But anyway, in terms of performance, this is okay. Um, we'll get down and get out into the SRV and just see how it performs then. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're in the SRV now, and you can see performance is a little bit more inconsistent than it was before. That headroom is jumping up and down quite a bit and we do drop down in frame rate now and again. Whoa, almost. Okay, um, yeah, so performance isn't as good and we've still got that shimmery kind of stuff on the, uh, on the ground. Let me just have a quick look at these different anti-aliasing methods and see if it does make a difference because it's bugging me, honestly. <laughs> um, Let's just turn anti-aliasing off, turn super sampling down to 0 0.75. This is probably going to have a... Yeah, okay, right. Well, we're back up to 72 frames per second, similar kind of thing. Yeah, it doesn't look any better. It's still shimmery. In fact, it looks a lot worse, to be honest. Let's increase super sampling to 0 0.85. The problem is, by doing it this way... Um, you're going to get into reprojection. Yeah, so we're in reprojection now, 36 frames per second. Um, doesn't look a lot better anyway. Yeah, I mean, we could try the, the other anti-aliasing methods, but there comes a point where it just starts to look blurry after a while. Okay, yeah, maybe slightly less shimmery, but not a great deal and playing in reprojection on the quest 2 with these settings just isn't a great experience no so i think those old settings that i had before were the best at least in, in my opinion and of course everybody can experiment with these however they want really uh, oops let's put that fsr 1.0 back on We'll apply that. We should be back up to 72. 72 frames per second. Doesn't look that much worse. In fact, I'll probably say it looks a little bit better than it did on the other anti-aliasing method. But I'm probably rambling on a little bit here. But those are my current settings anyway. You can see that. I'll put um, sort of a summary of these in the description of the video because I know I've been a bit rambly in, in uh, what I've been saying here, just going backwards and forwards on certain things. But this is just really the best I can find at the moment using the open, co open composite uh, to get a few extra frames 
improvement and and that just seems to be what what we have to put up with at the moment at least on my system of course if you've got like a 4090 or something like that you can probably get a, get better results but on a 3080 uh, again my full system specs will be in the description this is pretty much the best I can do at the moment it's just not as good as it was on the Valve Index or Horizons 3.8 so that's where the frustration comes in. Really does feel like Frontier are just not interested in VR performance at all, um, or VR in general anyway, in, in terms of supporting it. So I think we'll leave it there for this video. I know it's been a bit rambly, so apologies for that, but hopefully you've got something out of it in terms of how you can uh, tweak a few settings at least. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you'd like to support the channel then there are numerous ways to do so listed in the description, like heading over to the merch store and picking up an immersed robot mug or any other item arbitrarily featuring the channel logo. As always link is in the description to this video.